seats this year being vulnerable to where we lose that two thirds? Well, uh, there's no doubt. Uh, uh, there's three of us senators up, and we've got to maintain at least the eight of us in, in, in the Senate to hold that, that one third majority. And uh, uh, yeah, the Senator Dancer and Senator Hammond, I, 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 don't, I don't really have a tough race, so I'm, I'm not worried about my seat. But uh, uh, to the extent uh, uh, Senator Dancer and Senator Hammond, I think Scott's okay. Uh, it's going to be a tight race with uh, Dancer representing Washoe County because. You know, let's face it, we all know Washington's got pretty blue the last few years. And, uh, but she's sharp. I mean, I don't know how anybody can, you know, when you have somebody that has that kind of expertise dealing with the budget, dealing with the issues, she's as good as anybody out there. So I, I think we're going to hold it. We've got two more seats down south that are in play. Our caucus director says he'll be damn happy if we hold the eight. That's where we're at. I, I would like to say it, it kind of got breezed over. But we should all be thanking God and everybody and, and you guys. We came that close in this town to having probably all of our lines shut down just this weekend. That's, that's how close we came. I've got a, a friend um, who's a lobbyist down there who, who called me Saturday and said, you know, I asked him how, you know, what's going on. He said, boy, you are not going to be happy about this. This is, uh, by that evening, I got the text message that said that uh, figured it flip back and everything was okay, but we came that close to the, the it, I think he said, it, it wasn't a tax increase if I understand right, it was a backdoor like elimination of uh, their deductions or something like that that it, it amounted was, to about a 40% tax increase. It, 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 was, uh, it, it was a tax increase and that's why it required the, the two thirds majority. Yeah. But what it did is any, any mining operation that grossed over $10 million had to be done. 40% of their deductions. They have to just take it 40%. And that's what I said on the floor. How many of you people here follow? Not very many of them, I'm sure. And I also raised the fact that I was probably the only guy in the city and that it had ever worked in a mine. Yeah. Uh, but the bottom line was, uh, how many of you would stand up there when you filed your 1040A and automatically write off 40% of your deductions? Ain't gonna happen. You know, and those are standard IRS deductions. And they wanted the mining industry to get 40% of those up. I don't have to tell you what that does to your bottom line. That was health care, uh, equipment, oh, yeah. maintenance. Uh, it would have been, it would have been it, shut down. It well, I had, uh, wrecked us up. I got an email even from Ross and Mining here saying, if this goes through, we probably don't have two years left. Yeah. So, okay. And the small projects, the pans, even the Kinross couldn't take that kind of a hit. Yeah. And in, in a mining, and I argued on the floor, you know, it takes multi millions of dollars, even billions, to develop. If you're not generating $10 million a year, you haven't got a mind going. If you got to do $10 million a day, just to recover that debt. So they don't understand it, but again, it was most of the time the other Southern Nevada saying, hey, we need the money. Well, we not need, we want it. Because clearly the budget balanced without any additional taxes. And it's not a bad budget. We appreciate you guys holding the line. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Yeah. Uh, thank you, know, you so much. Like I say, we've still got two more years. To that guy down there ain't real happy with us. We don't play well together, it seems like. So, right. with that, we're there. Thank you. I won't take any more of your time. You guys got a busy schedule. Yeah, I appreciate Thank you. Long time. Thank, well, you. Thank you for the invitation yeah. anytime. And call anytime something comes up. And like I say, I do have the ability to work with Scott, uh, Melanie Young, Susan Young, uh, Susan Young, Susan Brown, Melanie Young. You know, from taxation, they are really good people. He's got working for him. You can call them and. Sometimes you can make a difference, so don't hesitate. If you get beat up someplace, give us a holler. Stay safe, Mike. Go, Bye. See you, Pete. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Pete. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Pete. Okay, now yeah, we're going to take a quick five minute break. When we come back, we're going to go back to our time dial. Wait, we don't have a time dial. We'll come back and reach out for a second. We'll yep. come back and reach out for a I love to go. Let's there. take a five minute break and back so. and go to the road to the Civic Civic. 1620. This has been a Georgetown production. George Chat just reporting.